The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White, a life of strength. I must work the works of Him that sent me while it is day, the night cometh when no man can work. John 9 verse 4. The Christian life does not consist merely in the exercise of meekness, patience, humility, and kindness. One may possess these precious and amenable traits and yet be nerveless and spiritless and almost useless when the work goes hard. Such persons lack the positiveness and energy, the solidity and strength of character which will enable them to resist evil and would make them a power in the cause of God. Jesus was our example in all things and he was an earnest and constant worker. He commenced his life of usefulness in childhood. At the age of 12, he was about his father's business. Between the ages of 12 and 30 before entering upon his public ministry, he led a life of active industry. In his ministry, Jesus was never idle. Said he, I must work the works of him that sent me. The suffering who came to him were not turned away unrelieved. He was acquainted with each heart and knew how to minister to its needs. Loving words fell from his lips to comfort, encourage, and bless, and the great principles of the kingdom of heaven were set before the multitudes, in words so simple as to be understood by all. Jesus was a silent and unselfish worker. He did not seek fame, riches, or applause, neither did he consult his own ease and pleasure. He did not shrink care and responsibility, as many do who profess to be his followers. The claims of Christ upon our service are new every day. However complete may have been our consecration at conversion, it will avail us nothing unless it be renewed daily. But a consecration that embraces the actual present is fresh, genuine, and acceptable to God. We have not weeks and months to lay at His feet. Tomorrow is not ours, for we have not yet received it. But today we may work for Jesus. Today we may lay our plans and purposes before Him for His inspection and approval. This is God's day, and you are His hired servant.